And I'll tell you guys why you're both wrong about Creed 3. Creed 3 was amazing because... <laughs> I thought this movie could have been great. Could have been a classic. Could have been right there with Rocky. Could have been, for me, right there with Scarface, A Bronx Tale, The Godfather. But they blew it because they wasted too much time on the guy's daughter and her sign language and her mm. being the next Rocky Balboa or Apollo Creed or whatever. They blew it with the kid angle, the daughter angle, she, the little Arya Stark angle, and didn't spend enough time developing uh, Diamond Dame, uh, Adonis's rival, in this, and if they had done that, they could have taken a movie that's a six and a half, a seven, and turned it into a nine and a half, ten. I, pretty good, but not great. Uh, I would say this, this description in three words about that movie. Sue or Edge, I thought it was terrible, honestly. And I know people that were in that movie, I apologize to them, or let me just say, all of you guys deserve Oscars. Okay, I know, but you guys are not going to be happy with me. Um, I got to see you guys. I got to work with you guys. But that movie was so flawed. They they have to start getting consultants from the boxing business to actually work with them because maybe my own knowledge of the sport and actually having gone to gyms and talking to people and seeing how it really works. I mean, give me a break. They literally had fighters sparring without headgears, putting on World War Three. That never happened. Uh, one scene, Adonis is out there with hand wraps hitting a tree. Folks, maybe Jack Dempsey did that. Maybe John L. Sullivan. I've never seen that. Fighters don't even chop wood anymore. And this whole thing, I mean, I will, I will say this. D-block game played by Jonathan Majors, I actually liked him. I actually thought he did a good job, and that's a big, strong athlete. He fit. But there's so many things that I'm watching this. Uh, and I went last night with Mario Lopez, and there are a couple moments where we just looked at each other going, oh, God. And let me just point out some of the problems I had. Number one, so a guy serves an 18-year bid with no pro fights, and he's going to get a title shot. Really. Try getting that past a commission. Look, Pete Rademacher is the only person in the history of boxing ever to make a pro debut and fight for the heavyweight title. The difference is he didn't serve an 18-year bid, and he was a gold medalist in 1956. So uh, there's a little bit of recency there, and he fought Floyd Patterson, and predictably he got stopped. Vasil Lomachenko fought for a title in his second pro fight, won it in his third. Uh, guys, and again, this is where my knowledge of the sport probably ruins these things. You have to at least be in the ratings to get a title shot. It kills me. Then the Mexican heavyweight champion. I happen to know that young man who played him. His name is Jose Benavides. Guys, in real life, he's a welterweight. To put this in perspective, a career middleweight, now junior middleweight, is 147 and now 154 pounds. When he was squared up against Jonathan Majors, it looked like Brutus against olive oil. And I'm like, okay, in what world is this guy a heavyweight? Okay? Then his career is run by the momager. Guys, I've never heard a, 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 a. It's always the overbearing father that becomes the manager and makes bad decisions. I mean, there's so many things. I'm going to go on. One other thing. Uh, the trademark of the Rocky franchise is the training montage. I mean, they absolutely perfected it all the way back in 1976. And by the time we got to Rocky IV... I mean, that thing just was just one big, long MTV music video, and it worked. I thought the training montage was an absolute buzzkill. And another thing, one last thing before I turn it over, because, you know, I'm going to give this thing not even a thumbs down, but a middle finger, because I want those two hours back. But I'm going to tell you this right now. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now. The girl that was married to Jordan or Creed and the daughter, this is the interesting thing. Um, Felicia Rashad was in there. And, and, you know, they, yeah, I don't want to give a spoiler, but she's in there. But then the, the girl that's with Creed, I guess his wife now, looked a lot like Lisa Bonet. So the whole time I'm thinking, wow, the Huxtables are here. I just couldn't get that out of my mind. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just telling you, 
<laughs> they need to kill off this series. I, I thought Creed 2 was awful. I don't think this one was any better. Mm. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, that sounds like a 2, maybe? Maybe a uh, point 0.8. A point 0.8. I, ooh, I, I literally ooh. think if it was... Okay. Let me just tell you, the, <laughs> the, the Rocky... <laughs> Uh, guys, I can give you my ratings on the whole franchise. I actually thought about it. And the only one that I can really think was demonstrably worse was Rocky Five. And to us Rocky aficionados, Rocky Five never happened. We don't even acknowledge it. It's yeah, like okay. Chuck Cunningham. Yeah, it's, it's like Chuck Cunningham in Happy Days. Remember one day Richard Chuck Cunningham had a brother, and then he went up to his room, and he was never seen again on the series? That's kind of what Rocky Five is <laughs> to this franchise. I, I'm just telling you, if you have any knowledge of boxing and have been in the sport, there are so many little things that they do, and I'm like, they couldn't mount a little bit. But again, I'm a little bit of a snob. I don't think they comes. wanted a consultant. No. No. They, they okay. want to go off in La La Land. Steve, Steve well, Byrne. I love how Steve Kim is name dropping Mario Lopez. Well, guess what, Steve? Well, I got to watch the I, I watched Creed three on a screener on a portable laptop uh, at, at Screech's grave. Um, <laughs> that's who I watched it with. And I'll tell you guys why you're both wrong. And I'll tell you guys why you're both wrong about Creed three. Creed three was amazing because. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah that, that whole wasted sign language deal. Yeah, that's last part of the reason wanna, I'm just. The last, I, Jason, the last thing I want to do at a movie is read. OK, if it's not one of those foreign films, you better not have subtitles. I just this, this is whole... coming from Steve Kim, who watches a lot of Korean uh, action dramas and crime thrillers that are subtitled. So yes, <laughs> right? No, that's not true. But I'm just so. By the way, here's the funny thing about Benavides, the heavyweight. He has a brother that is actually a super middleweight that's much bigger. And I don't know why they chose him. Benavides is actually fighting Caleb Plant March 25th on pay per view, and I just when I when I'm just watching this and I'm going. This is so far off, because if you look at the original Rocky, yes, Rocky Balboa got the call, unlikely call, to face the heavyweight champion of the world, Apollo Creed. Well, there's a difference. They put a good context to it that the original opponent had fallen out, so they're kind of in a rush, like, oh, my God, we got to salvage this event in the holiday season. And at least Rocky had just beat up Spider Rico, right? So this whole thing. Rocky had a long you, boxing career. Oh, he did. Come on, that was he had a real career though. Happened. Creed three was amazing. I'm Go about, ahead, Bryson. Go oh, ahead. Listen, I'm God. sorry. I'm gonna give Creed. I'm gonna give Creed three probably the highest score. I'm giving it a nine out of ten. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. I thought the shots were amazing. I thought the training scenes were amazing. The only reason it wasn't a ten is because of the daughter, lovely, lovely young lady. No disrespect to her, but I do agree they should have pit more of a backstory on Jonathan. May Major's uh, character, uh, 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 Diamond Dame. I thought that I thought that would have made it a ten for me, but it was a nine easily. I'm talking about the, the, the scene where where they were boxing and then it just whoo, and then they were just boxing by themselves and nobody around. Come, you, come on, Jonathan Major is one of the best actors out right now. Okay, the oh, scenes were. Come on, what are, what flaws are y'all finding here? I'm lost. Bryson. Bryson, I didn't understand it. Oh, so they start the fight at Dodger Stadium. And by the way, the last time there was a fight at Dodger Stadium, it was very tragic. I, I think a young featherweight by the name of Davey Moore died, and, and uh, there were songs written about it. So I like that fight. Steve, 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 you're wrong. The last fight at Dodger Stadium, a San Francisco Giant fan ended up paralyzed. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you know what? You are right about that. But that technically took Sorry. place in the parking lot. But, okay, so all of a correct, sudden. Correct. <laughs> correct. And then all yes. of a sudden, it's just them. It's just two man battle, They're, and they 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 have this big concept where it's just them, two men battling. So they went from the first and second round all the way to the twelfth, and I'm like, well, wait a minute, what happened to the other eight rounds? At least in Rocky One, they showed the ring card girls that were all looking like the Statue of Liberty. So you saw five, six, seven. You kind of got a context. It's almost like here they ran out of money and just said, okay, you know what? Let's just go to the twelfth round. And I'm like, okay, I don't. I the, the, they never showed them, the ring card girls either. Which, you know, kind of disappointed Steve, old man like me. Steve, but, uh. now you have to suspend your, suspend reality in order to watch Rocky fight Apollo. But now you want this to be a documentary. You don't, you want the location <laughs> to be accurate. You want all the training to be accurate. You want everything to be accurate. Come on now. Come on, Steve. Look, if you actually go back to Rocky, 
which, by the way, is not actually my favorite movie of the franchise. But if you actually look back at the way they train in the gym, the gym that they used in the original Rocky or the first two was a real boxing gym. It was the mainstream boxing club here in L.A. owned sure. by the Steinler family. OK. Um, and when you look at Mickey, Mickey actually looked like a real trainer. He kind of talked like one of those old guys. And the training that they used, even chasing the chicken, the quick in his feet in the, in the, in the sequel was pretty good. But the way they did the training montage, it was kind of depressing. Like to this day, I still work out to a lot of Rocky music, most of it composed by Bill Conte. And it's very inspirational. I've said, if you work out to the Rocky Four soundtrack, it is scientifically proven, you burn 500 more calories per hour. <laughs> that montage, I wanted to sleep. I wanted to go to bed. I was like, okay, just get Steve, to the fight. The I'm, only I'm, the only people that are chasing chickens now are people who want cheaper eggs, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're not training that way anymore. It's it's all different. But for me, I, I give it a seven. There are a few things I think they could have done you, with Dane. You lowered your score. I, well, seven, seven, eight. <laughs> seven, eight. Seven, eight. Price seven, price eight. Price seven, eight. Price eight. Price did chase chickens. It just wasn't in the third one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, give, I give it seven, eight. I, I'm, I'm good with it. It's a really good film. I love the cinematography. I love the story. Uh, Jonathan Majors, he really acted that role. If, if I'm ever watching a movie and I get angry with the villain, He's playing a good role. Like it was, he was really doing his job in that movie. I loved it, and and when I'm watching a Rocky film, I know or a Creed film, you gotta suspend some of this. I mean, this is not a documentary. <laughs>